Today is March 17, 2021. My name is Charles Suter. Today I'm presenting part three of my oversensitivity series, this one titled Forgiving and Forgetting. My main message, many a sorrow is healed with forgiveness. For people who are oversensitive and easily have their feelings hurt by social slights, the human mind has its own healing process. Time heals all wounds as the old saying goes, but why wait for time to heal and suffer in between when you can take matters into your own hands and end the sorrow now? Forgiveness is one way to heal yourself when your feelings are hurt. Perhaps you were too oversensitive in the moment. Ask yourself if you want to remember any particular hurtful incident five years from now. If the answer is no, then cut your suffering short by choosing to forgive and forget and move on to bigger and better things. Proposition 1. The mind is quick to forget unless you dwell or purposely dwell on a past hurt. Memory will dim, dim, will dim unless you reinforce what you want to remember. What is learned is quickly forgotten without reinforcement. Reinforce what you want to remember and forget what is hurtful. The memory of every human being is fleeting, and unless one makes a concerted effort to remember something, the normal present moments will soon be forgotten. The only exception is the more emotionally intensive events. They'll be remembered longer, but even they too soon will be forgotten unless the event was traumatic and the person refuses to release the event the only way a bad memory is prolonged is if the owner persists in ruminating, obsessing, lamenting the accidents, rolling it over and over in their mind. For this reason, it is important to forgive yourself, to forgive others, and to forget the incident so that you don't reinforce the memory and prolong its retention, and thus its ability to continue to haunt you, causing recurring hurt feelings for a long time into the future. Proposition 2. Immediately release any emotional disturbance in the moment. Petty annoyances should be cast aside immediately without a second thought. Most irritations are transitory, so intentionally release them. Nothing is gained by continuing to relive past hurts and frustrations. Once you've suffered a distasteful social encounter, spend some time reflecting on what might have been a better course of action on your part. If you conclude that some sort of follow-up or corrective action is warranted, then take it. If you conclude that there, are no, that there are lessons to be learned, then learn them and commit to remembering those lessons of what not to do so they're not repeated in the future. You can even apply mental rehearsal to ingrain those new behaviors in future similar circumstances. Once you've taken appropriate actions, and learn valuable life lessons. There's nothing else to be gained, nothing else to do but to forgive and forget the incident. If, tr if you have truly forgiven, then the forgetting will be easy and soon the hurt feelings will disappear. Proposition three, remember the good times and forget the bad times. You get to choose which memories to keep and which to discard. By remembering the good times, you build a history of positive memories. By forgetting the bad times, you avoid a buildup of negative cynicism. Your mental health is a product of positive memories and the absence of the negative. The memories you most want to remember are the exceptionally good ones. It is even worthwhile to write these good memories down in a journal. So you have a ready source of positive memories to offset those times when you're feeling blue. Instead of sulking or suffering melancholy, you can open your journal of pleasant memories and read about how great your life really is. Choose to become the better person and take only all those actions that bring healing to yourself and others. So everyone involved can move on with their life without carrying hurt feelings forward into the future and continuing to suffer more emotional distress. My final message, you will heal emotional hurts eventually, so why not now? 
take advantage of the human brain's natural tendency to forget events over time by eliminating hurt feelings as quickly as possible. If your emotions have been triggered by some bad experience, reflect on it with an open mind. Decide what corrective actions are needed. Take those corrective actions. Decide what lessons you need to learn to prevent a reoccurrence. And then after you have proactively done all you can, promptly choose to empty your mind of any further thoughts about the hurtful incident. Should thoughts of the incident come to mind, quickly change your thoughts so you do not have the power to remember thoughts that you don't want to remember. You do have the power of awareness to control your thoughts, so control them mindfully. That's all for now. Remember to stay positive. You'll be happier, healthier, and live longer.